Today is so pretty outside. It's super, super sunny. Before we get started, you guys, and before I'm about to do this, I want to give a big, big thank you guys to Google Fi for sponsoring this video. And on top of that, y'all, summer is like really, really here, here. Like, it's officially summer. Like, it is officially summer. Like, as of today, it's officially summer. Like, not today. Summer didn't start today, but today, like, you know, today is actually, you know, it's summertime. We in summertime, y'all. And baby, it's hot in Atlanta, Georgia. Like, what is you doing? I got a lot to catch y'all up on, and I got a lot to do today. Well, not a lot, but a lot. Also, I got my natural treasures done. Like, I don't even know what that, like, what that, is it natural treasures, natural treasures? Baby, natural inches. I got my hair done the other day. And y'all, it was in need. It was literally, I was like, I haven't had my natural hair done in so long, like actually taken care of. Cause I go to this lady who's literally been doing my hair since your girl moved to Atlanta. So imagine that, like I'm 26 now. She's been doing my hair since like I was a little girl. But she does like my natural hair. Y'all know I have a perm. She does my perm, she trims my ends, and she also colors my hair. So I got my color freshly touched up. And if you don't know, like my natural hair color, y'all, is very, 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 very brown, like sandy brown. Like if y'all see my natural hair, baby, no ma'am, I don't like it. I like my hair jet black. So I got my hair color touched up. I got all that done. I got my natural hair done, all of that. So let me read y'all this to-do list for today. So today, um, I'm gonna also make breakfast. But now that I actually make breakfast, I'm gonna just make my bagel with my salmon locks because I went to the store the other day and I got the stuff that I need to make that. So I'm gonna make that. Also, I have to run a few errands because I need to go to the store because I wanna get a new film camera. You know, your girl, <laughs> we're gonna talk about it. We can get more into detail later on in the video, but I'm going on vacation coming up and I cannot wait, y'all. Your girl is about to be living her best European summer life vacation lifestyle and I cannot wait. So I need to get a camera for that. Well, Polaroid because I wanted a new one <clears throat> that I seen on TikTok. TikTok, y'all. Literally be having about everything. Um, also, I've been reorganizing with my organizer, so I gotta show y'all everything we did. So it's kind of like, you know, how I was mentioned that we was gonna be doing like monthly reorganizing, giving things away. You put things in your closet, you get new things in your closet, you take old things out that you don't want. So we never did like month to month. Like we never did every month. So it's been about a few months since we worked and since we last um, got my organization together. So she came back, we did that, so I gotta show y'all the update of that. And yeah, I think I have to do a store run, but that's about it, y'all. That's kind of like the whole thing I'm doing today. So also, I have to catch up on so much. Like I have a lot I have to get done. Y'all know your girl has been literally traveling back to back to back to back to back. And I'm finally having some downtime before I go into, you know, grind mode because you know, your girl is preparing for the Lord's Day, fall and all of that stuff. So I have to get ready to get my mind straight for that and kind of just lock in, which I already been doing. So I'm gonna make my um, breakfast, get ready, and then we go head out. So let's do that. Also, while it's behind the camera, let me turn it around and show y'all. But I got this new camera, y'all. Like when I say it's super, super big, like it doesn't look as big as it is in person. Like it's so huge. And I have literally been burning this candle all day, every day, and it still haven't went nowhere. Like. This is like, and it smell good. All right, y'all, so I decided not to do my makeup because I honestly just don't feel like it. But I am going to wear this dress, so this is the look I'm wearing, y'all, because like I said, it's so hot outside, and this is perfect, and this is comfortable, and I'm just trying to be chill. So I'm just gonna wear this gray maxi dress, which is fitted, but like flare out at the bottom, I'll show it to y'all when I put it on. But I'm gonna wear this, and then little Percy purse, and some shades. Here's Penny, y'all, she likes to sleep on this couch now, lay on this couch and scratch it up. As y'all can see, well, you can't really tell, but she scratched right here and inside the chair, but that's where she likes to sleep now. All right, y'all, so I put the dress on. This is what it looks like. This is how I look at the bottom, y'all. I'm short, which is why I look so freaking long on me, but it's literally touching the ground. But this is how I look chill. I'm wearing this bag, these shades, a little RVAE main event. It's so cute and comfy, y'all, which I'm just literally just going out, running errands, and going to the store to get a camera because y'all know I'm going on vacation. But y'all know your girl has literally been to 
I went to St. Martin, went to Aruba, went to Thailand, all these places. Y'all know your girl love traveling. So like I mentioned at the beginning, I want to give a big, big, big thank you to Google 5 for sponsoring this video. So the plan I picked was the Unlimited Plus, and it is 5's best unlimited plan, which has premium features. So a few things I love about my Google 5 Unlimited Plus plan is, you guys, Number one, seamless online experience, which your girl is always on social media. I am always online. I'm always on the internet. I'm always searching for things. I'm always looking for things to buy. And that is a number one thing that I need to have fast coverage for. Also, you guys know I do YouTube and then I need to respond to comments. I need all of that. So everything when it comes to me being online, on social media, internet, anything, it always has to be fast. So another thing, it is compatible with most phones. And y'all know I have an iPhone, which I just bought another one, which I get guys, I'm so, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta show y'all because your girl just bought another one, which this is gonna be my work phone. Your girl is trying to be business savvy. So I got a personal phone and a work phone, which I use my work phone when I'm taking pictures and everything pertaining to work. That is another thing I love about it. It's compatible with most phones. And another thing I enjoy the most, you guys, because like I said, I'm always traveling and your girl has a lot, when I say a lot, of upcoming international travels. I love that they have unlimited data when it comes to calls, texts, and also international data, most importantly, because baby, usually when I'm traveling out the country, I have a hard time using my phone when I'm off you know, the resort or when I'm off from the Airbnb without Wi-Fi. But y'all, Google Fi <laughs> comes in clutch. So for the international data and texting when you're traveling internationally, it is free of charge and you also don't have to do no extra setup, which is the best. Another thing I love as well is that you have the ability to use your mobile data on your tablets and any other compatible devices because if you don't know, your girl got a new phone <laughs> for work and stuff like that. And I also have a tablet, iPad, and I also have my laptops and all of that great things when your girl is trying to work when I'm traveling, so that is perfect. Another great thing is that Google Fi has no contracts and no heater fees, which is also perfect. So if you guys want to check it out and learn more, click the link in the description box. So I literally just remembered, which I remembered, well, I thought about it when I bought bagels. I don't have a freaking toaster. Like I literally have everything in my house when it comes to like kitchen equipment and all that, but one thing I don't have is a toaster. And I literally thought about that when I bought bagels. I was like, I don't even have a toaster. So I'm gonna have to put it in the oven. So I'm gonna let me preheat the oven. I got everything but the bagels because that's what I like. That's the type of bagel I like on my Nova Locks. And again, if y'all don't know what that is, it's pretty much, cause a lot of people don't believe that it's cooked. Like it's actually cooked. Like when it, anything says smoke y'all, that means cooked. It's not raw. Raw is raw and smoked is smoke. And smoke is technically cooked because a lot of people, but I'm like, oh yeah, you gotta try this, you gotta try this. They be not trying to try, and I be trying to put people on, you know, I'm trying to expand people's palates. And they be thinking smoked salmon is raw when it's technically not, y'all. And if you never had anything in this world, try it before you say you don't like it. Thank you. This is the bagel, y'all. This is how it look. And let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I was at an um, ice cream shop. They had everything but the bagel ice cream. And I'm pretty sure y'all already know what I'm about to say. I tried it, yes I did. And it was, I mean not the bagel, I tried the ice cream, but it was like everything but the flake, everything but the bagel seasoning. So imagine what that tastes like. Ice cream tasting like everything but the bagel seasoning. A oniony, garlicky flavor. So that's what the ice cream tastes like, but it was actually ironically good. But let me get into the whole update, y'all. So y'all know I've been saying like I've been traveling and I finally got some downtime, so I believe Ooh, your girl is about to get ready to lock in. Probably, I'm giving myself like a whole month to just lock in and prepare. Because Lord Bay, L O R V A E, baby, <laughs> she got some things coming, baby. Some new things coming, so stay tuned. But I have to pretty much prepare myself for that. I can just be on grind mode. I'm using, can't believe it's not butter, y'all. It's just brown the outside when I put it in the oven. I'm about to get ready to lock in for that. But before I kind of do that, which I already kind of had like, you know, my vacations, your girl has literally been traveling back to the back. I got a few more travel coming up. And I always said that I wanted to go to Europe, anywhere in Europe for, um, during the summertime. Like I never been to Europe or anywhere in Europe during the summertime. It's always was winter, which take that back. I think I did go to Greece summertime, but everything else, it was like, one time, which I don't think it get, I don't think it gets cold cold like how it does here, but it's not like 
hot, hot. Like, your girl trying to wear booty shorts, swimsuits, all that. That's the type of, you know, era I'm trying to be in for the summertime of year. So that is what your girl is doing. So I'm doing that before I kind of lock in for Laura Bay. And your girl gotta be in grind mode, going ghost, cause that's what I'm gonna do. Cause y'all know, I gotta focus with my energy into my brand. But that's pretty much the whole update of everything. I know you guys have asked me for a girl talk video, which I am gonna do that. My best friend is actually in town for six weeks because she um, is training for a job, so. I think I might get her in the video, but I'm gonna give y'all that. Y'all, the girl talk is gonna come. So let me show y'all how it actually looks. The smoked salmon. I admit that it looks raw, but it's not raw, y'all. Like, it's, it's actually cooked. And when I make my bagels, I like a lot of, I like a lot on it. But this is how I look, y'all. Like it looks raw, but I'm telling you, it's not. I like a lot, so I'm gonna add a lot of it on here. And so all you need is Nova Lox, like Nova salmon, cream cheese, capers, onions, all of that. But I'm just doing cream cheese in the salmon because I don't got the other stuff in my bagel. So that's all I'm putting on it. Now I'm gonna rub it with the cream cheese, spread it with the cream cheese. And y'all, I like a lot of cream cheese. And I like a lot of salmon, so I add a lot. My bagel is done, as y'all can see. It's about to be fussing, and I got my water. I've been trying to, y'all, drink water, like, early, early in the morning. Like, even if you don't drink water throughout the day, like, some people don't drink water throughout the day, and I have a habit of, like, if I get something to eat, like, I don't want water, like, I want either juice or a Coke, because y'all know I love Coca-Cola. But every morning, like, trying to drink, like, at least two of these, three of these in the morning, that's probably what my skin has been looking like. It's been looking, baby. I'm about to eat my breakfast, get ready, and we about to head out. This joint is buzzing. It's so good. Like, when you never had it, y'all have to try it. All right, y'all. So, I'm about to get ready to head out, but I got to blow out my candles because, y'all, I can't be in the habit of leaving these candles lit when I leave because I'm always lighting candles in the morning and then going somewhere and so I cannot forget to blow my candles. So, y'all, don't forget, if you have candles lit, I always blow them out before you leave. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, and I went all the way to the store just to have what I wasn't looking for. So what I'm gonna do, honestly, which is what I always do is order it online because honestly, when it comes to shopping in stores, you look for something, nine times 10, they're not gonna have it, and you should just order it online anyway. So I don't know what I was thinking. So what I'm gonna do is order online, and it'll be here way, 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 way before my vacation. So I'm gonna order online. But let me finally show y'all my reorganization and give y'all a little jewelry tour slash haul because I actually did organize my jewelry over the weekend as well. So I organized with my organizer, like my clothes and stuff and her folding and everything. And then I organized my jewelry. So let me show y'all this. So nothing much has really changed. The only thing we did was add um, labels. So this is like shorts, random stuff, my sweats, like sweatshirts, sweatpants, sweat shorts. And then over here we have matching sets that couldn't go upstairs. And then up there is like all my Christmas stuff, my workout outfits, stuff like that. So that is this little area. Nothing in here has changed. It's kind of like the same thing. Same thing in here. I just ended up labeling everything, underwear, socks, graphic tees, graphic tees and then random stuff there. Then in here, everything is pretty much the same. She ended up hanging more sweatshirts and then my sweatpants and more sweat matching sets down here. And so same thing with my drawers. She ends up refolding everything. Labeling it, we end up labeling it as well. So like this is now my tanks, my body suits. And then it's my matching set. And then you come over here, and then you have my jumpsuits, leggings, biker shorts, and then down here it's just like all my everyday dresses, really. So also ended up hanging, getting these things that I found online and then hanging them on the back. So like my scarves, my body chains, all that stuff. So I got that back there. And then this is like one of my jewelry things that I organized so beautifully. This is kind of like half of it in here. I put some in here and some in another one so it's like not too compiled or too like bunched up. And it looks all cluttered, but this looks very much aesthetically pleasing, y'all. I organized it like my chain, my jewelry, you know, all that. 
earrings, earrings, necklaces, earrings here. So this is the other one, you guys. So pretty much the same thing. It just has more rings and stuff, which I already did this a long time ago. I just moved some stuff and like organized it more, like I said, so it wouldn't be cluttered. I love it, y'all, because your girl is finally, finally organized when it comes to my jewelry, and I'm just so happy about it. Now I'm about to show you all because I showed y'all what's like inside my little jewelry boxes that I organized, but I also organized like all my bracelets and stuff because I have a lot of like big chunky bracelets so I just found these boxes which I don't even know what these boxes were for but I found these and just put them all in so like all of my big bracelets like these I have them inside here like my gold bracelets I have them in here and this thingy I organized like my rings like my creative rings my diamond rings my gold jewelry my silver jewelry and here y'all I found these when I was cleaning up and going through my jewelry but they are freaking jean holders. Like you can size your jeans any way you want to size them. Like to make it tighter on the waist. Like y'all, look at this. And I think I bought them, I don't even remember where I bought them from, but I found them and I was like, dang. So I don't even have to just go take my jeans to go get altered when I don't really need to. I can just use these. I have like my silver jewelry, my rings. These are like my colorful decorative rings. It's not like inside the jewelry box. I just put them in here like different creative ones like that and then i decided to keep like these little things because now i have an idea for when i'm packing so let me tell y'all so i decided that i would keep like all of these things that some of my jewelry come in to keep so when i'm packing for like vacation and stuff i decided to like pack the jewelry that i'm wearing with that outfit and those little bags to go with the outfit so like everything is kind of like organized and in, in like in order so like shoes purses jewelry that i'm wearing with the like the accessories that i'm wearing with the outfit it's kind of all like together packed up and then it can be all separated by like little baggies instead of just usually what i do is just put all my jewelry in one bulk so that's a tip, y'all. I decided I'm gonna do that, so I'm gonna try that out when I pack for my next vacation. But that's why I kind of saved them all. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. All right, y'all. So I just been sitting around the house, and I randomly just decided I wanted to cook, which I've been craving lasagna for the longest. So I'm about to run to the grocery store real quick, get stuff to cook lasagna, come back home and cook. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So let's go to the store. All right, y'all. So I am back from the store. I got. A limited pans, all the stuff that I need to make this lasagna. Like I said in the beginning of the vlog, my best friend is in town for like six weeks because she's training for a job. So I'm going to make her a plate when I'm done cooking. Take it to her so she can eat good like a girl. And also, this is like a recipe, like this is like a meal we made together like a long time ago. And I forgot what we used and what we cooked. So I was like, girl, what is that recipe that we did for the lasagna? And she sent it to me like, three days ago because I was craving it. So I'm gonna make it and then bring her some. I'm about to cook y'all, but everything y'all need in the recipe, wait, let me, let me give y'all like a whole list of everything y'all need. If you never made lasagna, pretty much all it is, well, for this recipe, you need milk, flour, cheese, like mixed cheeses, like just straight cheese, stuff like that. The lasagna noodles, ground beef, tomato paste, flour, butter, ricotta cheese because I like to mix both cheeses in this one. First things first, we need to cook the beef. So I know a lot of people when it comes to ground beef <laughs> add oil before they cook the beef, but y'all, beef and meat, well this type of meat has oil in it already and for me, I use the one usually with 80% lean, 20% fat, which is kinda like a lot of fat, but I like it because it gives a lot of flavor, plus my seasonings. But you don't need oil before because you gonna get oil after you season up. So I'm about to cook the meat. First things first. We need onion powder. We need garlic powder. And also garlic salt, which I like, which I love actually. Because instead of salt, I use garlic salt. And then I also have this other garlic, garni, garly, Garni, some type of garlic season. I don't know. My mama got it for me from a festival, a garlic festival, y'all. Can y'all believe that garlic festival? She got it for me, and I used it when I made lobster rolls a few days ago, and it was so good. So that's pretty much what I'm using on here as well. So y'all know, season it up. I like to season my meat before and after I drain it, cause I don't like too much oil, so I drain a little bit of it and keep a little bit of oil because a little bit of oil is good. 
We like a lot of people. Look at this, y'all. Pierre loves to go on the balcony now, so he is standing by the window. Well, not the window. He is standing by the door and want to go out, so I let him out. So look at him. Literally living his best life. Yep, we talk about you. All right, y'all, so this is the tomato paste, which we are gonna put in the pan over there where I'm cooking the garlic and the onions, and then we put the beef back inside. So now I'm about to make the white sauce, which is the best part, but it's lasagna. And all you need is butter, you need to add butter to the pan, let that melt, and then we're gonna add garlic, and let that do its thing. Noodles boiling right now. I'm gonna just strain this and then layer it up. So I just mix the butter, garlic, and flour. So we'll let it mix up, y'all. And then after this, we're gonna add the milk. So my meat sauce is done, as y'all see. And then I have the white sauce, which is exactly how I want it. Now, we're gonna add the cheese, a little cheese in there, because we're gonna use the rest of it to sprinkle when I'm layering it on top. All right, y'all, so first we add the layer of noodles, then we're gonna do ricotta, then the meat sauce, then the white sauce, then the cheese, and do that like two, three times until we get to the top. So I'm about to do that. y'all so I just did all the layers now for the last part spreading all the shredded cheese on top and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 45 minutes and cover it up with oil and she gonna be done and ready to go all right y'all lasagna is in the oven hey Google set a timer for 45 minutes okay 45 minutes and that's starting now. All right, y'all, so I just took the foil off of the lasagna and y'all, it looked fine. I'm gonna show it to y'all. This is what the lasagna is looking like so far. And we have six minutes left. Just took the lasagna out and it looks so freaking good. Ah! Y'all, look at this. It looks so good. So I just cut my friend piece and then I got garlic bread in the oven. All right, y'all, so now this is my friend plate. I decided to give her two big fat pieces because I know for a fact I'm not gonna eat all this. So I ate her two. Now this is her plate and I'm about to take it to her. All right, y'all, here's my bestie. I forgot to show y'all I had her food. Here she go. Take Thank me. you so much. You're welcome. Love you, Love you too, bye-bye. All right, you guys, so I am back home from dropping my friend food off. And I already ate before I left. But I'm about to get ready to finish, well actually start because I haven't started because I went and gave, gave her food before I actually started watching the show. But now I'm about to watch the show, something y'all about. And again, I wanna give a big thank you to Google Five for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next vlog.